Over the years, the Asian community has been accused of over-harvesting of shellfish around New Zealand's coastline. But the perception may be changing. Barat has that story. It's Cockle Bay in Howick, and you might think that these people are out collecting shellfish. But they are not. They are members of the Chinese Conservation Education Trust monitoring the state of shellfish at the beach. Despite the cold and bad weather conditions, a large group of enthusiastic conservationists have turned up to take part in the shellfish monitoring program. The trust was set up seven years ago to educate new Chinese immigrants about the importance of conservation in the new home. One of the objectives of the trust is to promote the conservation awareness uh, amongst the local Chinese population through activities. And you, you can see that uh, the, this is one of the good examples of our activities. The, hopefully people will learn a little bit of the, uh, the conservation of New Zealand from our activity. <laughs> on, the, on the same time, we would like to share it with uh, our fellow Chinese community. So hence I'm here to organize a, a few activities for our, our fellow Chinese. So over the last two years there's been a huge increase in the number of people taking cockles and taking excess cockles and it is a bit of a worry because um, Auckland is such a large area, a very big population and Cockle Bay is only a small beach and what we're worried is that it won't be sustainable and it's the Ministry of Fisheries job to make sure that, um, that the recreational fisheries is sustainable so that there are shellfish and fish there for the future generations. I, I would like to think that people will appreciate our input. Most importantly, uh, we are not only contributing but uh, we are learning from the, uh, in the process. Um, our members will definitely go home a lot better in terms of conservation awareness and they will be able to tell their friends and family, hey, today I'm on the beach uh, counting cockles and I know the importance of um, looking after the environment. It's absolutely vital that the uh, community come down and start to learn more about their local environment because if they don't learn things about it, they don't have a sympathy for what's going right and wrong within, within the um, environment. Yes, that's a, ba that's a very young wedge show. And so this is a vital part of these community activities, that they learn um, something of the animals that are there, something of the conditions that affect the animals as well. When we conduct these monitoring programs, they are educational as well. We like to show people that there, a, that there are different species out there and that the environment is rich with different species. So knowing about them and the cockle is useful. It brings a greater respect for the seashore. It shows that it is a vibrant living space. I would say, you know, Chinese people is uh, not very good on the conservation, especially the uh, new settlers get into New Zealand. There's a totally different from the you know environment they lived before. But now I think they want to be the TV and they want to contribute to this country. How to do it? So they need the knowledge, you know, with the CCET the Department of Conservation can pass those knowledge to them. I think it's great that the Asian community has become involved with the uh, monitoring program and it's good for the public to see them out there doing this type of work. It's great. Anyone wishing to join the Chinese Conservation Education Trust can check out this website. <laughs>